Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. I've got Javier out here with me again today, helping me out. We got to get these trees put into some bonsai pots. But also, on this first video, we're going to do a little rewiring on a couple trees. This one, I'm going to take the wire off. There's a few spots it's starting to thinking about digging in in here. So I'm going to take this wire off, do a kind of a restyling, and then put this one in a pot. Then this poor guy. Uh, is gonna that wire wasn't thick enough i'm gonna take that wire off add some thicker wire rebend him and just uh, maybe add a little more bonsai soil he's kind of had a rough life his first year as being a bonsai tree so buckle up hang on wish me luck here we go anything to say no hey welcome to bass and bonsai <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bass and Bonsai, where we love to pet our bonsai. As I was showing you, you can see in there, that wire is dug in. I waited way too long. We got to get that off. And then uh, we'll do a restyling of this tree. It's got a little bit of foliage you need cleaned out. Maybe rewire this into a different shape but we can't do it with that wire that's on there because it's already dug in it's been on there too long we got some dead wood we'll sharpen these edges up see what it looks like now cutting the wire is real simple we're not going to try to save it especially since it's dug in Javier's trying to hook himself up his own little uh, GoPro stuff so we'll just get in here where we can anywhere I can see a good spot to cut it without cutting into the bark up here I'm probably gonna have to unwrap that because it's so dug in to the bark I don't know that may be a problem but we just cut all this old wire I gave up on trying to the wire is so cheap that you can get at Lowe's or wherever I don't try to save any wire I mean you can if you want to but okay we have all the wire off the tree now so now I'm gonna come in here and clear this out some it's had some growth for like a season I'll probably take some more of this stuff off sharpen up these points maybe add some more wire and give this thing a little more movement we'll see when I get done with what I want to take off this branch here is definitely getting cut way back and probably a little more here. May not even want that branch now, that lower branch. I got too many branches. There's just too much. It's still, it's like back to looking exactly like a bush. So, I don't know why I left this little guy originally. That little guy is going to get toast. Alright, so while we're at it, I'll go ahead and sharpen up the dead wood before I forget. Before I get too involved in a, doing something else. week sometimes just breaking them off didn't take much just make them look like they weren't cut like they broke off like they weren't cut with something that right there just helped the natural look of the tree all right now what to do with all this crazy branching that's everywhere this one it's growing straight up. It needs to go bye-bye. I don't like it. 
don't know why I left so much. I guess that's just part of getting more involved in this. I see more things that I should have taken off originally. I have this back branch, which is kind of the lowest branch. And it's kind of... We don't really need it. That's the thing. I think I'm going to kill it off too. You guys have seen me kill these off. I think I'm going to kill that one off and just leave it lay there. And I'm just going to start with this branch here and thin it way down. It's got all this crazy little growth. This like this straight up right there. Actually this guy right there. I don't need him. I don't like that chunk there. I don't like that guy at all. Brought you guys up just a bit here. I don't know. What does that look better? I can't really tell what I think of this tree. I got this branch, this branch, this branch all together. And this little guy down here. This one, I kind of like where it's at, and it is, this one's low, this one's a little lower, and then this one, I guess, is up a little bit. I could, when I plant it, or when I pot it, I could do it a little bit at an angle. I think this guy, and I'm not sure what to do with that back one. Let's thin them. I think they just, everything needs thinned down and I might be able to leave everything. I still might like to leave that. It's kind of cool. That's, there's that train. I don't think I need this part of the branch at all. definitely open it up you can make out the movement problem is I don't really like the movement you guys somebody may like it I don't think I like it I think I originally had this tree with this looking right at me this guy unwired we just cut off opened it up some I think I'm gonna be tempted to even angle it a little bit more but I'm just gonna put it in a pot and we're not gonna do any wiring on it okay there it is I did bring it forward a little bit. It's kind of uh, give you a full rotation here. I brought it twisted a little bit. It's almost centered in the pot. The problem is it's leaning way forward. But for now, this would probably somewhere in here, this is kind of sticking out, or right here would be the front. It looks real good to me. So it's coming that way. This would be the second overall styling, finally getting it into a pot. I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked this tree. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Give it a good thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't, Bass and Bonsai. And be looking forward for the next video out after you watch this one. I'm going to jump in here real quick, cut all this old wire off, and get this guy rewired. But anyway. You guys ever notice in my video, there's like all kinds of crazy stuff always going on in the noise background. There's cars blowing up, burning out, kids screaming, dogs barking. 
But anyway, it is what it is. I hate that saying. Thank you guys very much for watching. Tell me how you feel right now. <laughs>